Hello and welcome to your brand new weekly subscription of all things fun and breaking happening here in the world of Tokusatsu. I'm your host, Squall Charlson, and so far I've been enjoying this year's Common Rider entry admits some interesting designs. One of those interesting writers is actually getting his own spin-off. It has been recently announced that Kamen Rider Snipe from the Kamen Rider X8 series will be getting a four-part prequel titled series Kamen Rider Snipe Episode Zero. This spin-off drama will cover Taiga, the man once called the genius radiologist, his origins becoming the first Kamen Rider in the series, and how he loses his license as a doctor. The Kamen Rider Snipe Episode Zero segments will be released every three months with the Kamen Rider X8 Blu-ray collections, beginning April 12, 2017. The first Blu-ray collection, which will contain episodes 1 through 12, is priced at 19,800 Japanese yen. So, with the four-part series, uh, we won't be seeing the end of Snipe anytime soon. Speaking of the many Kamen Rider X8 spin-offs, one Rider alum will be returning in the Kamen Rider Brave spin-off. There's like a spin-off, you know, for each character. <laughs> I'm still holding my breath out for the people popo one. Takashi Hagino will reprise his role as Takashi Asukara, or more well known as Kamen Rider Oja, in the upcoming Kamen Rider Brave spin-off, Kamen Rider Brave Survive. Resurrection Beast Rider Squad. Toei has recently announced a spin-off for Kamen Rider Brave, the secondary Kamen Rider of the Kamen Rider X8 series. The spin-off will stream on the Toei Tokusatsu Fan Club app, available only in Japan. This spin-off will highlight the resurrection of Kamen Rider Oja, who originally appeared as the antagonist in the 2002-2003 Kamen Rider Ryuki series 15 years ago. Takeshi Asukara gained popularity due to his unrelenting brutality amongst the Heisei Kamen Riders. He wears his familiar snakeskin jacket, and his brutal, violent ways still remain. In this spin off, Kamen Rider Sasord, Kamen Rider Dark Kiva, Kamen Rider Beast, and Kamen Rider Tiger have joined Oja and formed the Beast Rider Squad. With the power of a new Rider Gashat, Knight of the Safari, a new form of Brave will debut. Kamen Rider Brave Survive Resurrection Beast Rider Squad will begin on February 19th on the Toei Tokusatsu Fan Club app. If you're not completely overwhelmed yet by the sheer amount of characters currently in Toku, well, we got nine more for you. I really want some Sentai spinoffs. Please, can we can we make that a thing? Can, can we get them on the phone? The series will take place in the distant future and for the first time ever feature a team of nine rangers fighting together against the evil Jark Mata, who have already conquered the universe. Of the nine initial team members, four are considered alien types, such as beasts and androids. As they are not played by humans on screen, they will be voiced by well-known voice actors. Garu, the blue wolf who is Okami Blue, is voiced by Kazuya Nakai known as the voice of Zoro in One Piece. Balance, the technopath Tenbin Gold, is voiced by Yuki Ono, who recently finished portraying Josuke in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. Champ, the robot built on a manufacturing planet, is Oshi Black, voiced by Akio Atsuka, known for his roles as Solid Snake in the Metal Gear video game series, and Balto in the various Ghost in the Shell movies and series. Raptor 283, the android pilot Washi Pink, is played by Mao, otherwise known as Mao Ichimichi, who portrayed Luka Milfi or Gokai Yellow in Kaizok Sentai Gokaiger. The team commander, the mysterious Sho Ronbo, is voiced by Hiroshi Kamiya, who has played the Levi in Attack on Titan and Gene Bolt in the Ultraman Zero movie and spin-offs. Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger starts February 12th, one week after Ju-Ultra's 48th and final episode. The one thing I cannot wait for when it comes to a new series is hands down the music. The opening and ending artists for Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger theme songs were recently announced. The show's opening Lucky Star will be performed by Tomohiro Hatono 
Hatano, a relative newcomer to the genre, comments, I am honored to be able to debut as the theme song singer for Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger, the 41st series in the historic Super Sentai series. Being on stage has always been my dream, and I hope to bring kids and adults together with this song for Q-Ranger. Tsuyoshi Matsubata will perform the show's ending theme song, Kyutama Dancing. Ooh, there's a dance. Matsubata was a member of Project DMM who contributed songs to the Ultraman series for various years. He more recently performed the opening to Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger, the 35th anniversary Sentai series. One single, however, refuses to be toppled off the charts. Singer Daichi Mira wins first place in the Oricon Weekly Single Ranking for Kamen Rider x aids opening theme song, Excite. It sold 3 million copies in digital sales in the first week of its release, reaching first place for the Oricon Weekly Single Ratings. Mira remarks, I will continue to challenge myself. I will keep trying hard, and I will do my best. Aw, a nice guy. While we're still on the subject of music, let's talk about a group I've been listening to off and on all week. The Origin Saga, the 12 episode Amazon Prime original series that serves as a prequel to Ultraman Orb, will debut new pieces of music in the upcoming episodes. The second opening, True Fighter, will be performed by Future Boys. The EDM singer slash DJ duo is composed of members I Am Shun and This Is Wayne. The song is being composed and arranged by Jeff Miyahara, who has produced songs for Boys to Men and Timberland. Episode 8 of Ultraman Orb The Origin Saga will air on February 13th. I love the way their names are written. It's almost like you need to yell for the last halves of their names. This is Wayne! <laughs> if I am Shoom doesn't get you in the yelling mood, this might. Krampus director Michael Daughtry has been tapped to direct Godzilla, King of Monsters. Michael Daughtry, writer and director of both Trick or Treat and Krampus, has been reported to direct Legendary Pictures' Godzilla, King of the Monsters film. Both Daughtry and Zack Shields, who previously co-wrote Krampus, are set to write the sequel to 2014's Godzilla. They are also tasked with building a bridge between it and Legendary Pictures' other kaiju property. March 2017's Kong Skull Island, in anticipation of Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla King of Monsters is currently scheduled for a release date of March 22nd, 2019 with Godzilla vs. Kong following afterwards with a May 29th, 2020 release date. I don't know how you go from Trick or Treat to Krampus, well, okay I get how that happens, but to go from that to Godzilla? They must really not have something in the budget to hire a more appropriate director. Do you know what you should be getting saved in your budget? This portion of the show will showcase all of the new toys and collectibles that are coming out that you might want to buy. Medicom Toy has announced the Real Action Heroes, or RA for short, Genesis Kamen Rider X8 Action Gamer Level 2. Like previous figures in the line, the head's eye light scope emits lights with a built-in LED. The mech lifeguard chest armor recreates the rider gauge by precision painting through clear parts. The texture of the action gear suit covering the whole body is reproduced with metallic pink and matte black fabric. The transformation belt gamer driver accessory recreated the rider graphics in the high flash indicator on the front. You can insert the included rider gash hat accessories in the gash hat slots. The figure also comes with the transformation items Mighty Action X and Gekitotsu robots. The transparent base at the tip of the gash hats are recreated with precision painting. The signature weapon, Gashikan Breaker accessory, reproduces hammer mode and blade mode by part replacement. The HIT effect plate part is also included. This figure is priced at 30,000 Japanese yen, excluding tax, and will be released November 2017. Are you looking for something that maybe won't entirely kill the bank? Happen to like Kamen Rider W? Eh? Tamashii Nations announced the SH Figuarts Seiho release of Kamen Rider XL from Kamen Rider W. The Seiho are a series of high-end SH Figuart releases that feature all new modeling, high levels of detail, 
and the best skeletal joint system Tamashii Nasons has to offer. As the idea suggests, Seiho releases cost a little bit more than your standard SH Figure Arts releases. Kamen Rider Excel will release sometime in June 2017 for a currently unknown price. The Kamen Rider Double Joker Cyclone SH Figure Arts Seiho releases retailed at around 6,480 Japanese yen to give an idea of how much Kamen Rider Excel may retail for. Also, Premium Bandai recently announced the SH Figure Arts release of Kamen Rider Amazon Sigma from the Amazon Prime series Kamen Rider Amazons. Premium Bandai revealed the release of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Amazon Sigma. This marks the third SH Figure Arts release for the Kamen Rider Amazon series. The other two in the figure line are Kamen Rider Amazon Alpha and Kamen Rider Amazon Omega, the two lead riders of the series. The SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Amazon Sigma is priced at 6,696 Japanese yen and will release July 2017. At the time of this recording, orders are now being taken. If you're really tight on a budget, well, you may be in luck. Shin Godzilla Gashapon sets will be launched in Japan starting in late February, March 2017. Each figure will cost 200 yen. There will be four versions of Shin Godzilla second form Gashapons to collect. Overcoming, Hook, Hanging, and my favorite, Finger Riding. Shin Godzilla will be released on Blu-ray and DVD in Japan in multiple versions on March 22nd, 2017. Here at the Tokunet, we love to be tapped into all the news outlets to bring you the biggest stories as promptly as we can. Another thing we're going to try to incorporate is a sort of fan platform for all the interesting and cool things that happen here in the community. I'm talking artwork, events, cosplays, videos. We want to see all of these. We want to highlight the work of the fans to help get you as much exposure as possible. Just be sure that the submissions are clear and something clean enough you could show or tell a seven-year-old who might be watching. Well, this has been your weekly roundup for all things Toku related for the fourth week of January 2017. For more information on any of the stories in this video, head over to the Tokusatsu Network or, you know, just click on any of the links down below. For more weekly roundup news like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe right here to the Tokusatsu Network. I swear, there's, there's a fly in here. I don't... You saw it? Okay. I'm, I'm not going crazy. I saw a fly somewhere in here. I There's one buzzing. It's been driving me crazy for the last half an hour. I just went, Ugh! No! Got it. No, it's back!